Well, tax day is approaching and there's some changes to know about this here. Jen Sullivan has a look at the changes and how you could earn a bigger tax refund in today's Consumer Watch. You may be receiving your W-2 form soon if you haven't already. And while the tax deadline is still a few months away, tax experts recommend filing your taxes early. Get your taxes in. As you begin to fill out your 2023 taxes, you may notice some differences. The IRS made several changes to the income tax brackets to help adjust for inflation. They adjust certain tax benefits every year, but for tax year 2023 is the most they've been adjusted up in decades. This means you may end up with a bigger refund. Here's why. In 2022, a person filing as single, earning between $41,766 to $89,075, paid 22% of their income to the IRS. In 2023, though, that tax bracket jumped to $44,726 to $95,375. That's a 7% change. Other changes, the amount of money you can claim in energy credits. We always had the electric vehicle credit for up to $7,500, but there's also a credit for used electric vehicles now up to $4,000. If you've made energy efficient improvements to your home, like installing new windows, you can also claim up to $1,200 in credits with no lifetime limits instead of 500, which is what it was previously. There's also changes in tax credits for families. If you're a family with three kids, it's $7,430. So how much money can you expect to receive back? Last year, the IRS says the average refund was $3,039. But with the tax bracket changes, you can expect more. For Consumer Watch, I'm Jen Sullivan.